Hey, aloha, Mark J. Wolf's Laziest Networker coming to you from our backyard here. It's beautiful, quiet. It's all our backyard, actually. But basically, um, the key to recruiting. Well, first of all, you need the skills. But again, it was a quote from Diana Vreeland, the editor in chief of Vogue magazine. If you didn't read the previous blog, there's a link right down there to it. You really got to get that. But this was the second thing from her that was the thing that charted a completely different course for us. You know, you can have the skills that we offer and you can do great with them. If you get in uh, our intensive course, uh, if you're not on that mailing list, by the way, there's a link down there to get on the early notification list for that. But that'll even help you even more. But there is one thing that separates the ones that have the skills and get up to five, 10 grand a month and the ones that have the skills and get to twenty-five or thirty thousand dollars a month, and this is from Diana, and this was like, oh, I get it. Here it is. What she said was, don't give people what they want. Give them what they don't know that they want yet. Oh, do you get it? You see, when we're recruiting, we're telling people. Uh, if we've been improperly trained, and let's face it, most of us have been, I sure was. We're telling about how great the plan is, how great the product is, the company's going to grow vertical. That's not even what they want. We're telling them what we think they want. <laughs> and the stupidity of that is only matched by the stupidity that you hear from so many people saying, hang in there, don't quit, it's a numbers game. That's all absurd nonsense. The truth is, we discovered... The key to successful recruiting was giving people not what they want, but what they don't know that they want yet. How do you do that? Well, it's pretty simple. There's a recruiting methodology that is incredible. It's not any of this nonsense like neural linguistic programming or things that are manipulative. It's about you becoming completely transparent to the person, having a conversation, that helps them identify something that they would like to have beyond the car being paid off and the credit card debt being paid down and some of the stress gone. See, those things are all trying to get back to zero. And that's not what really people want. They just think that's what they want. You've got to give them what they don't know that they want yet. And there's only one person on the whole planet that can do that for them, and that's them. And if you don't know that skill about how to get them to get into their imagination when they're talking to you and imagine what it would be like to have something that they don't know that they want yet and all of a sudden it dawns on them I want to tell you something they're ready to buy and ready to join now we'll be running um, some classes on that I uh, get on the go 90 grow list that's down there for early notification or a really short small class and think about it think about this don't give them what they want Give them what they don't know they want yet. And here's the thing with the uplines and companies and everything else. They tell you what to say. And think about it. Is that really what people want? Is really, really, really going to motivate them? No. You're asking them to connect the dots. You've got to get them to connect with you internally. And there's only one way to do that, and that's an honest, transparent conversation. So we'll be teaching that. I'd like to know what you think of that. Don't give people what they want. Give them what they don't know that they want yet. Leave me a comment on that. Tell me what you don't know about what you don't want yet. Okay? Peace be the journey. We'll see you on the beaches of the world. I know you want to be here. Okay? Forget about it. You can get here.